It is not unusual for presidents to name campaign donors to ambassador posts, but scenes like this at a congressional hearing on the nomination of ambassadors to Iceland and Norway have fueled extra criticism. Mr. Barber, I take it you've been to Iceland? Sir, I've not, I've not had the privilege yet. I look Mr. forward to it. Mr. Sunis, have you been to Norway? They might not have the resume, but they have been hefty campaign donors and fundraisers. We will win Virginia! The cost of an ambassador post? Half a million dollars or more in donations is the average some appointees have donated or gathered for the president's party, says Sheila Krumholtz of the Center for Responsive Politics. The unfortunate reality, though, is that some of these people are not qualified uh, and, and they are getting to the front of the line. In fact, they're performing an end run around more qualified candidates because of how much they are giving uh, to the campaigns and to the parties. Robert Silverman, president of the American Foreign Service Association, believes the practice jeopardizes U.S. foreign policy when it so comes to strategically important countries. It's one thing to be sending uh, a non-career person to a small island country, say Palau, where you know, we have a traditionally good relationship, where there are no issues that would come up. It's another thing to be sending uh, a brand new person who's never worked in this field to a country like Hungary. And we have concerns with that. Mr. Obama's pick for ambassador to Hungary? Colleen Bell, producer of a soap opera called The Bold and the Beautiful. She was confirmed this month despite objections of Republicans, including Senator John McCain. I am not against political appointees. I am not against. I understand how the game is played. But here we are, a nation that's on the verge of ceding its sovereignty to a neo-fascist dictator getting in bed with Vladimir Putin, and we're going to send the producer of the bold and the beautiful as our ambassador. I urge my colleagues to put a stop to this foolishness. Mr. Obama's spokesman, Josh Ernest, was pressed to say whether Bell's donations are what qualified her for the job. She is somebody who uh, retains the confidence uh, that, the, well, let me say it this way. Ambassador Bell has the president's confidence that she will do uh, an excellent job of representing the United States uh, and maintaining the important relationship that the United States has with the government and the people of Hungary. While President Obama is not the first to appoint political loyalists in place of career diplomats, analysts say he has done so more often. 40% of his ambassadors are political appointees, compared to 30% under Presidents George W. Bush and Bill Clinton. Luis Ramirez, VOA News, at the White House.